first we will create a plate which will work as the top and the bottom base of the spring. We are creating these two coincident mates so that the floating plate can only move along the y axis. Now we will insert a new part. Right click and select edit part. We are creating a new plane that goes through the middle of our base plates. Sketch on the newly formed plane. Now draw a line connecting the midpoints of the upper plate and lower plate. And after that, exit the sketch. Create a new sketch on that same plane. Draw a circle at the uh, top edge of the bottom plane and give it proper dimension. Now exit the sketch. Go to features and select swept base. There select the newly formed circle as sketch profile and the previously drawn straight line as sketch path. Go to options and select specify twist value under the profile twist option. We can control the twist by angles or by revolution. Here we'll use the revolution and then specify a certain number of revolutions. Now we'll trim the top and bottom edge of the spring. After that we'll exit from the edit part option. Now see, as we are moving the top plate and rebuilding the assembly, the spring is contracting and expanding itself by keeping the number of revolutions, spring diameter and coil diameter constant. Now we will see how to create an animation out of this assembly. Select motors. Select uh, any edge of the upper plate. Here we will use actuator type motors which are used for linear movement and as it is a spring the motion would be oscillating motion. We will select 30 mm as the displacement and the frequency will be 0.25 Hz. we drag this key to the 10 second mark and click on calculate the animation would continue for 10 second let's play the animation The camera position, angle, the zooming can be changed from here. Uh, these will be discussed in another tutorial. What we are seeing at the right side of the screen is the camera view.
see as we are clicking the play button SOLIDWORKS is automatically exiting from the camera view to prevent this and staying in the camera view we have to disable playback of view keys now when we are going to the camera view and playing the animation the camera view is staying there and even after the animation being completed we are still in the camera view we can save the animation from here we can change the file name image size and fps we will change the fps and the file name the aspect ratio and size will be as it is the higher the fps is the more time it will take to render the animation now the animation is completed we can find it at our pre-selected location let's see the animation thanks for watching hope it was helpful see you in the next tutorial and please don't forget to like share and subscribe